Yo, what's up YouTube? Gecko Girl here with another video. Today, actually before we get into today's video guys, hit that bell icon, subscribe, like, and share please. Um, become a member of the Reptile Room family. Alright, um, we have a lot of fun on this channel. So, today guys, we're going to be doing Gargoyle Gecko Care Basics. So, first, Pangea Superfood. Alright, this stuff is amazing. Um, I used Rapashi forever because Dustin convinced me it was better than a Pangea. And then um, they quit selling Pangea in my local pet stores. Petco quit carrying it. Pet Smart never carried it. And Pet Supermarket where Dustin works has never carried it. So, and this guy at Repticon last year, the bread crested, his crests were huge. I mean, they were gigantic, okay? And I asked him, you know, what he fed him, and he's like, just switch to Pangea. I told him I wanted to fatten up my males, and he's like, switch to Pangea, which my males are both very finicky. They go through phases where they just, they don't want to eat, and I don't know why. Like, I, I don't know. All my females are good eaters, but it's like at the beginning of breeding season, all these guys have on their mind is mating, and they don't want to eat. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is good for up to 72 hours. Once you mix it, you just add a little bit of water and mix it. Um, you want it to be about the consistency of applesauce, you know, the, the kind that's in the little plastic cups and it's a little bit on the watery side that that's how you want it you want it a little bit watery so it does last for that full 72 hours um, I recommend changing it every other day if you can um, if you're never home like me and you can't that's okay too um, these guys have like really slow immune systems just again make sure you change it about every 72 hours change it um i like to mix in some mango bites um which you can buy like a plastic it's almost shaped like a it's shaped like a can uh you can buy it at uh, petco it's like eight bucks nine bucks um so you can buy some of that and once it's open, it needs to be refrigerated, but it does not need to be refrigerated up until that point. Um, I like to put them in the microwave just long enough to make the mango mushy, but not cook it. And I will put it in there with some bananas so the banana gets mushy as well. Because uh, it's really hard to mush them up enough to get them mixed in well with the paste. So, and then I usually mix it in with this. This is the banana and papaya flavor. And they do get bored with the same food over and over, so I think I'm going to like switch it up next time. I mean, it's just like people, right? I mean, we get bored eating the same thing over and over. I mean, I get it. So, I understand. Next thing, um, Repticalcium. So, you want to feed these guys adults. You want to feed them crickets every other week. Or feed them every week, but give them a half amount. That's how you want to do adults. Babies, you want to feed them every week or twice a week, half the amount that you would normally give them for a full week. Um, and you want to dust your crickets with this Repticalcium. This is at uh, Petco as well for about eight to nine dollars. Also, you want to spray the cage once or twice a day. You can do a really heavy misting at night and they'll be fine. Um, just, again, just spray the cage really, really good before you get to bed. You'll be good. Alright, so. Next is how to play with your gecko. Come I know this is like the third time you've been out because I've had to shoot this video for the third time now. But this is Angel. She's my orange blotch gargoyle. And 
These guys are not finicky eaters at all, by the way. It's definitely a crusted thing. But, uh, yeah. So you just, you want to let them lead, you know. And hand over hand, like I have right now, hand over hand. That way, you know, if they jump, they'll land on your other hand. Or you can just let them crawl from one, or, yeah, just crawl, walk, whatever, from one hand to the other. Like so. Eventually, um, after they get used to being handled, they'll get to a point where you can pet them like so. Very, very gently. But you don't want to do this when you first start handling them. Um, Demon, I literally could not handle longer than about a minute without him getting stressed out when I first got him. Angel, about five minutes. So, it, again, it depends on their personality. Um, but uh, you t when you first get these guys, you know, like a month, two months old at the most, uh, you really don't want to handle them a lot. It will really stress them out. They, these guys really mellow with age. Like, um, we got her in December, and it's March now, so, yeah. And she's already the size of a four- or five-month-old crested gecko. She's almost as big as a four- or five-month-old crested, which is insane. Insane. She's already outgrown a couple of crested gecko babies, whoa, that are older than her. And she's almost as big as Nefertiti, and Nefertiti's like about five or six months old, but she's a little small for her size. So, you just love the camera, don't you? You've done that every time I've reshot this video. You must really just like the camera. Okay, let's put you back. So, temperature requirements, um, you want to keep these guys from the, anywhere from the low to high 70s to the low 80s at the highest, anything higher than that you can give them a heat stroke, so just warmer end of room temperature, they'll survive in the uh, mid to high 60s, but you're very liable to cause them to have an upper respiratory infection or worse, they could die. Um, they could handle it, just probably not for very long, and it would probably make them sick. So, um, I keep these guys in plastic tote like so, or you can do a glass setup like you guys have seen in my other videos. Um, this is about six bucks at Walmart. So, the driftwood that's in here for them to climb on, you can kind of see a little bit in there. Um, that is about $15. Uh, you know, just get creative with it. You know, just go to Petco or Pet Supermarket. Um, grab you some decorations. The plastic vines are only like 4 bucks. And if you're really trying to pinch pennies, instead of buying some driftwood, you can um, go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and I've seen people, breeders especially, get uh, some PCB pipe and cut it and crisscross it to where it won't fall. And um, they sanded the ends that they had cut so it won't hurt the gecko. And uh, they can just climb on that. Easy, simple. And plus the driftwood does rot, you know. I mean, come on, it's wood. It's going to freaking rot in a moist environment. So you do have to change it out every once in a while. But, uh... That, that's the basics of care, guys. You know, just... Oh, and you want a cleaner cage? Um, just get you some uh, latex gloves. You know, and pick out the poop. Um, every couple weeks, pick out any poop, any dead crickets. Um, I usually clean the day after I feed because I know there's going to be a lot of dead crickets. Um actually probably best to wait a couple days after you feed so that way they can digest a little bit and you won't stress them out and plus there'll be more dead crickets by that point and you can just pick out the ones that have died that they haven't eaten and um 
you know, just pick out the poop. And then once a month, uh, I take out the decorations, uh, clean their decorations off, swish dirt around, clean the dirt. Um, and then you want to do a complete fresh dirt change, complete dirt change, dump the whole cage, wash the whole cage about every three to four months. So, um, and that's it for these guys. Very, very super easy to take care of. Very easy reptile to keep, especially in an apartment. <laughs> you know, um, great pet if, you know, you have a hectic schedule like me and you work and go to school or you work two full-time jobs. Perfect pet. Perfect pet. They're great. Um, so that's it for today's video guys I think after to, um, today's video I'm gonna do another one that just shows how to mix up the food and I may put that one up today as well uh, not sure um, but yeah I will that will be my next video is showing you guys how I mix up their food and um, how I add in the mango, the banana, and I also like to add a little bit of calcium in there, even though Pangea does have calcium in it. Um, just a little extra oomph for my females, you know, while they're breeding. Um, they could always use some extra calcium for those eggs and uh, just could always use the extra energy from the fruit. Um, I like to spoil my animals, what can I say? But, uh, um, in the meantime, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, again, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for me. Um, be coming at you with another video next week. Um, might have that little extra bonus video up tonight. If not, then tomorrow because I got to make some fresh food anyway so yeah until next time guys peace out